we are back now with Richard Southern to talk about the day's more offbeat stories. And we begin with the mayor of Moose Jaw, Richard, who's making a big splash. First time we've ever said that, I guess, right? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Moose Jaw Mayor. Uh, yeah, he's making some waves, Erica. Uh, a man by the name of Fraser Tolmy. He's out with a commercial. Uh, he has a message, Erica. He says, for, for sun-seeking politicians or anyone looking to escape during this COVID time, he wants them to come to Moose Jaw. Take a look. Are you a Canadian politician taking heat for going away at Christmas? Listen up. I'm Fraser Tolmy, Mayor of Moose Jaw. We have all the amenities and no shaming. So, if you're someone trying to escape from it all, do what Al Capone did, come to Canada's most notorious city. We'll never tell. Now that, that doesn't exactly make me want to go. Is that a good sell job right there? I don't know. I'm not quite sold yet. It does look very nice. Looks spa-like, I guess. Yeah. I hope John Tory doesn't uh, pull the same thing. We don't need to see that quite frankly. We'll see that two weeks from now. He's going to have his own. Oh, control. my. <laughs> average average housing price in Moose Jaw, 269000 by the way. There Erica, we'll take two. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. All right, uh, Moose Jaw vacation is out of the question for most of us right now. Uh, and finding a place to stay in cottage country can be tricky, too. Cottaging is like the thing right now because we got no, nowhere else to go. And some of the big sites that rent cottages here in Ontario, Erica, they're telling me they're already pretty much sold out. Cottage Link is one of them. They tell me they're 90% booked for this summer. Uh, they say it's easily the, the earliest they've seen of people booking. Uh, a lot of people wanted to rent a cottage last summer, couldn't because of the high demand. They don't want to miss out on this summer. And they say they're also renting like, you know, they rented in the late fall. They're renting in the early spring because... You know, people can work from anywhere, and so right. they're renting a cottage to to work from there. I would just love a, a friend. I know maybe you have one, or maybe you uh, know someone. I want a friend with a nice cottage. I was going to say that. Yeah, it's 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 a benefit to know somebody who has a nice cottage, and not surprising that it's already sold out. All those bookings. Somebody uh, invite me and Erica to your nice cottage, please. <laughs> We're nice people. We'll be very yes. respectful. Yes. And finally, an Ontario man has landed in the record books for a stomach churning feat. Oh no. G do you like hot and spicy, Erica? I, I do. I'm wondering maybe where this not, is leading. Yeah, maybe not quite this. We're talking about Carolina Reaper peppers, the hottest in the world. This is Mike Jack. He's from London, Ontario. Crazy Landed Reaper in the Guinness Book of World yeah. Records for eating three what? of these in 9.7 seconds. No. There he goes. Can you imagine how bad that's burning right yeah. now? I, I can only imagine, but the actual experience itself must be awful. <laughs> He's, it says he, it takes him 8 to 12 hours to recover. I don't want to know what the aftermath is like, but I, it ain't pretty. I hope he had a lot of milk on hand. <laughs> say that. <laughs> Painful right. stuff there, Erica. Oh, man. Uh, thanks, Richard. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.